today's news. Youth activists sentenced to two-month pretrial detention. Coral newspapers legal mess. Human rights defender versus post office. WAC's fight against Iran is political, not religious, says WAC chairman. EU supports vocational education reforms in Azerbaijan. On Monday evening, the Sumgayat City Court sentenced a member of the Azerbaijan Popular Front Party Youth Committee to two months of pre-trial detention to be served in the Baku Investigative Prison. Jabar Savan Lalu was arrested on Saturday evening in front of his apartment building. He is being charged with possession of narcotics. His supporters believe that Salvan Lalu had been arrested because of his involvement with protests against a police clampdown during an opposition protest on January 20th at the Alley of Martyrs. Salvan Lalu had also posted critical articles onto Facebook. The court hearing was closed to journalists and to Savan Lalu's family, reported his lawyers Asabil Mustafayev and Anar Gasimov to Objective TV. The lawyers also confirmed that they will be filing an appeal against the decision. Today, the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety hosted a roundtable to discuss the lawsuits filed against Khural newspaper. Editor-in-chief Avad Zainalu said that 2010 had been a difficult year for the paper and that the recent months had been dominated by the various court judgments made against Khural. Because we did not pay the fine imposed on us after a lawsuit brought by Azerbaijan Printing House four years ago, Narimanov District Court sent a warning to me. Then on February 3rd, after a six-minute deliberation, the court issued us with a 3,000 AZN fine. In addition to this, we had filed an appeal against the Narimanov District Court decision, which had fined us 500 AZN after the lawsuit brought by the head of the Mass Media Development Support Fund. The appeals court increased this fine tenfold and ruled for a 5,000 AZN fine. There are another two court hearings pending, one on Etibar Husseinov's lawsuit against Khural, and another against our appeal against the appeals court decision on the lawsuit brought against us by the head of the presidential administration, Ramiz Mehdia, said Zainala. According to journalist Shalohad Chopanoglu, the appeals court ruling for a bigger fine suggests that they were operating under a political directive. Azadluk newspaper editor-in-chief Ghani Zahid proposed that all newspapers and media NGOs should form a coalition and form a united front against government pressure. The director of Tehran News Agency, Mehman Aliyev, says that an appeal should be sent to the new U.S. ambassador to Azerbaijan, and that the diplomatic community should be made aware of the issues. IRFS chairman Amin Husseinov confirmed the media faces serious government restrictions. Newspaper and media organizations operating must prepare a joint appeal and send it to President Ilham Aliyev. Ugar Safarla, the head of the Mass Media Development Support Fund, and the head of the presidential administration. There is also a need for mass protest actions, he said. At the end of the event, Ibaz Zanalu called for the readership to help pay the court fund. The 500 readers each contribute 10 years in, and we can pay off our fund. Today, the Asmal District Court heard the stage of a lawsuit brought by human rights defender Rasul Jafarov against Azar Poached Express. Judge Fuad Talashinki proceeded over the hearing. Jafarov, the 2010 fellow of the International Bridge of Justice Group, was unable to travel to Singapore for an International Bridge of Justice conference because the Postal Service lost his visa documents. Because Singapore does not have an embassy in Azerbaijan, Jafarov was required to submit his documents to the Singaporean embassy in Geneva, but the Azar Poached Express Communications Office lost his documents. In attendance today were Jafarov's lawyer, Yashar Agadzadeh, Azar Poached Express representative, Bahram Safarov, and Mukhtar Mustayev from Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines became involved in the lawsuit after a motion put forward by Jafarov made in response to Azar Poached's claim that the documents had been lost by Turkish Airlines. Jafarov's lawyer filed a motion to withdraw the lawsuit as they were going to take the case to the administrative court. The defending side objected to the motion and deemed it a waste of everyone's time. The judge rejected the motion and scheduled the next hearing for February 18th. World Azerbaijani Congress co-chairman Sabir Rustam Khanlu held a press conference at the Office of Civil Solidarity Party on February 8th to give information about his meetings in Geneva on the southern Azerbaijan problem. The WAC chairman spoke about his meeting with the representatives of the United Nations High Commission in Geneva and their discussions about the situation of South Azerbaijanis. The UN representatives were provided with comprehensive information on human rights violations of southern Azerbaijanis. I advised them to see cities of southern Azerbaijan during their visits to Iran. Rustam Hanla also criticized the Baku officials for their Iran policy. For a long while, it was banned to speak about Iran. 
Now that Iran has started to target Azerbaijan's political leadership, they have begun to speak against Iran, the WAC chairman said. Rustam Hanva also sent a message to those who described WAC's fight against Iran as a fight against religion. WAC's fight against Iran is a political fight, it's not religious. The fight will continue unless Tehran recognizes the human rights of 35 million South Azerbaijanis. Today, a final conference was held on the EU Finance Vocational Education and Training Reform Strategy Project. Azerbaijan's Education Minister, the head of the European Commission delegation in Azerbaijan, and representatives of governmental agencies and educational institutions attended the conference. Education Minister Mr. Mardanov gave information about the reform strategy in the vocational education and training in the new tourism vocational education center built in Ismaila, the selected pilot region. Mardanov considers the project a success. According to him, these achievements are new in the last 20 years. However, there are multiple challenges remaining. There are 108 vocational education institutions in Azerbaijan. 24 of them have buildings that are useless or not suitable for use. Over 14,000 refugees have settled in 55 of the said institutions. 75 of them need substantial repairs. There is also a lack of books for education, said the minister. He added that a new EU finance grant program will be launched in the coming days. This is the vocational training agricultural project, financial value of which amounts to 1.2 million euros. The project will be implemented by the German government. Roland Kobia, head of the EU delegation to Azerbaijan, said that the EU cooperates with Azerbaijan in the educational sphere, one of the key priorities in EU-Azerbaijan cooperation. Educational cooperation is a key to Europe. During his visit to Azerbaijan, European Commission head Manuel Barroso widely discussed this issue with President Ilham Aliyev as well, he noted.